Well, hello. Should be uh, all good to go now. Hello, welcome to Timberborn Live, replacing episode 9, I guess. Probably still call the next video episode 9 anyway. Yeah, we're in cycle 5, day 2. We got all sorts of beaver antics going here. If you haven't caught up with the videos, we have a couple more of these water wheels under construction. We've got all sorts of stuff done over here. And we've got more queued up. And we're presently trying to get more wood. We have a whole lot of it growing, but it's, you know, it just takes a lot of time. But yeah, that's where we're at. We're just going to keep going and see how much we can get done. Kind of a chill stream. This is a little bit of a slower paced game than Ostrov, and especially a little more difficult. You can do a lot of damage very quickly by ignoring some basic stuff. So like right now we have a pretty small amount of food, but we do have some that is growing and ready to be harvested. So we'll go ahead and pop that back on 16 times speed. It's just the eternal balance of trying to get everything figured out the right way. Game audio might actually be a little loud. Let me turn that down real quick. Alright, that should be a little better. So, one of the uh, things that has kind of kept me from being as good at this game as I want is I tend to expand housing too early, and they tend to uh, make too many beavers. So, we're going to do our best not to uh, expand these any faster than we absolutely have to. So, it might be a little little slower than your preference but we'll uh we'll do our best to keep stuff slightly entertaining here now we've got gear workshop done we've got four of those we've got our grist mill that is eventually gonna do something we do have unemployed beavers i've forgotten about hauling post is fully staffed district center is fully staffed I think we could probably probably go ahead and afford to have uh, some more of these buildings built. Especially since it's a new cycle, we're going to have all sorts of uh, availability of beaver power, as it were. Should I build another grist mill? I guess I need to build a bakery. If I've got bread. So we can actually put that up here. Yeah, let's put that there. Because they just go right here from the grist mill right to the bakery, and that'll be fine. Beehives. I don't have enough science points yet. But since we have eight unemployed beavers, I think we can probably get away with building another inventor or two. So let's... Uh, Go ahead and pop a couple more there. Let's actually go ahead and do three more. Why not, right? We just really need a lot more wood. Can you build a dam just upstream of the water wheels for droughts? Um, so it's not going to be flowing, which is the main problem. That would keep the water around a little longer, but if it doesn't have any motion, then it's not going to actually turn the water wheel. <coughs> so that's why... The previous uh, thing before I failed, I was putting in windmills up here. Because the, the windmills might be intermittent, but they will work in a drought. And you also have the option of the power wheels if you're truly desperate. And I suppose theoretically there might be a way. I haven't tried this, but there might be a way to do a water dump upstream. And water pumps it downstream and just continually transport and see if that might generate enough current to turn a wheel. But I don't think that would work. Or the scale at which you would have to do that would be so unbelievably immense that that would be probably pretty irritating. Actually, let me go ahead and move my logo. Oh, that's the wrong one. Go ahead and move my logo out of the way so you can actually see the stats at the corner. We'll put me down here. I just realized that that was in a uh, kind of annoying place. Hopefully that's a little better. You can see the stuff in the top left. Okay, so now they're complaining there's no food. 
All right, well, we might have some beavers die of hunger, but it's not going to be too many because we do have food on the way. It's just uh, just a little slow. They are harvesting some berries. So that's something we really probably need to be focusing on this episode is getting more food growing here. So why don't we go ahead... Just because we can. Actually, let's put a let's put a path down here. Then we can put in some more. Probably do a, a couple of carrots. I know carrots are not the most efficient thing, whatever. But they grow quickly. And sometimes it's just really important to have stuff. Right, let's go ahead and uh, get that going. Just need one log. Get the bakery going. They can have bread. That'll help because we have, uh, I think that's, yeah, that's flour. We have a decent amount of flour. We just need this one more log to get done for here, and then we can have some more food. Theoretically, if they, you know, decide to actually do anything, or they all just want to die of hunger, that's, uh, it's up to them. Come on, finish this thing. This just needs one more log. You're telling me there's not a single log? Okay. Finally. There we go. I know these people are going to be mad if they don't have any food. Alright. And there's one dying of hunger. <laughs> uh, are we going to go through this whole thing again? I sure hope not. Because we're going to have... There we go. Yeah, now, now we've got carrots that are coming up to uh, maturity here. Come get your food. Stop dying of hunger. Can't afford that. We don't have time for that. Just trying to think where else we can afford to put in some farming stuff. I know up here we have, these are all just regular blueberries for harvesting. We're going to have to get some more water in here too. Is this just not enough, uh, not enough incoming water to take care of everybody else's needs? Well, I guess it might be time to go ahead and uh, come down here with our water pumps and stuff. We just don't have the wood for it, honestly. I'll just go ahead and put three of the pumps there, see if they can take care of that. I, just, I don't understand how we have such little water everywhere. We've got plenty of people working on it. Need to get rid of all berries, A7 plant carrots, but the berries are nice though. I like the berries. Alright. We'll humor you. Trees. How far does this extend? Okay, that doesn't go all the way down there. Yeah, we'll do. I always click the wrong thing. This is what happens when I don't play the game every day. I forget what buttons do. Berries are really bad. Okay, berry hater confirmed. So I guess we can just make this entire area potatoes then probably makes sense. We just have to actually, you know, get the stuff done. At least we have some food now. We've got bread. So our nutrition three... Yeah, it's it's in process. We're, we're trying. We're doing our best. That's what matters. Alright. Good. And now we can get rid of the gatherer flag, and then in that spot we can plant one more carrot. Then we come down here. I always click. I always click on this to try to plant food. I don't know what it is about it. And then over here is going to be potato land. Probably could use another farmhouse too to help with the uh, labor for all this. Berries are fine when you have 20, but over that it takes too long to grow with. Okay. That makes sense. Like the resource density is not very good is what you're getting at. 
I just need them to demolish the rest of these. It takes forever. I don't know what it is about this water that takes so long. Well, I think I have an idea. It's because we don't have enough logs. We have enough beavers now, I feel pretty comfortable doing another farmhouse. So if I can get this. Uh, how far can I go without... Oh, that's not getting all the way down there anyway. Alright, so we can leave that there. Do another one right here. Just get a couple more beavers going in the food land. We really need, really need some water taken care of here. Okay, here we go. Now they're actually building something down here. That ought to help at least a little bit. That's going to take forever. Forever to get done. We have some maple trees now, though, so our storage of log problems should not last too much longer. We've got a couple hundred food. I want to get this up over a thousand before I start building more uh, more lodges here, because it's just asking for problems. We have too many beavers. We haven't really filled our capacity here either. It's just a plethora of trees that can be harvested here. These maple ones give you eight logs per, so that's good. We are starting to run out of uh, unemployed beavers, though. We should have these other farmhouses built relatively quickly here. Assuming we can actually get beavers to uh, get rid of some of these trees. We do need to add more of these lumberjack flags for sure. Let's just go ahead and do all that. Why not? We're going to need them eventually. I guess we could go ahead and, uh, okay, we're going to have a ton of food coming in here in a bit. The rest of the berries are too far from a road. That doesn't tell me that. Huh. All right, well, I guess I will have to, uh, that's one thing that irritates me about the game is how little it tells you diagnostically. In terms of problems, it just says, hey, this isn't working. Okay, there they go. Oh, so they actually don't need... They don't need this area to be demolished. I guess that's all they needed was that one extra strip of uh, land here. Doesn't give you a warning when you're destroying something. Okay. That seems annoying and inconvenient. Ah, now we have wheat. Very good. We actually have logs stored up, so we can go ahead and unpause these. They're not going to be able to occupy them anyway because they're not connected via a uh, little pathway here. 
We've got a lot of planks, so we can actually go ahead and get our platforms going here. Then this can have more stuff on top and then can also have some rooftop terraces under leisure. Because that's one thing we haven't really... Well, happiness, yeah. We're at a dystopian hellscape, I guess, for beavers. Probably should build a builder's hut. I don't think we have one. It's just hauling post. Yeah. So, we can research that. And I suppose we should do probably right here. That'll cover most of this area. There we go. Now we have wood. You know, it just takes a takes a little bit of time. We still don't have a ton of water stored up either. At some point, I do need to completely dam this up. But that's a long way in the future. But we're out of uh, unemployed beavers, so we for sure need to be expanding here. I guess technically we can get rid of these lumberjack flags because we're not going to be planting any trees over here. This is going to be pretty much all farmland because the trees are across the way. So if we go ahead and demolish these resources. I guess really just all of this. Then we can get rid of the gather flag. Then we can build ourselves another farmhouse, because I don't think any of them reach up here, and they don't. So I guess I could do... But let me put it here. And we'll do two right there. Pop in a path. Then we can use this entire area for planting. Hello! Hey Blue, welcome. Chilling out playing some beaver game for at least a little while tonight. Depending on how we feel, I might play something else as well, or I might hop on over to Twitch and play something that you guys don't ever watch on YouTube, but we'll we'll figure that out later. Alright. Drought incoming in three days. Mm, not not looking great for food, but we do have stuff uh growing. And by the time this starts getting really bad, we should have some coming in. Just a lot of stuff going on. Another advantage of uh, drought coming up is these water wheels are going to stop, which means all the production of wood stuff is going to stop, which means we can have hella beavers planting and uh, taking care of crops and stuff. So we can actually go ahead and get a head start. Let's do wheat up here. Why not? We'll do wheat there. We'll do potatoes here. I think... I think this should be fine during the drought still. Because the water will uh, come down to about here. It will... It will evaporate here, and it'll stop about here until we suck all of it dry. What I'm really concerned about, though, is the, uh, the water situation. Because we don't have a lot stored up. And I guess we're just using a ton of it. Okay, well, let's, let's be proactive here. Let's go ahead... start shutting these down. I try to get everybody to uh, go build the uh, sorry the sound effects are really distracting. I still have it turned way down it's still really annoying. Have everybody go build these water things because there will be a little bit of water left in here during the start of the drought. It just uh, you know takes time. We do have 300 water now, which is better, but that's still only 
a day and a half. And I think this next drought's probably going to be six or seven days, if I remember correctly. Now, one thing I didn't foresee is the uh, gristmill being functionally useless during a drought because, you know, the water wheels aren't turning. But we also don't have any more... We have like eight flour, which is nothing. All right, get to work. Get this. Uh, get this water going here, Beaver boys. We really need to get more. Sixty-five beavers aren't a joke. That's one hundred ninety-five. Yeah, that's exactly why I am concerned. Food, not so much because. This will continue to grow and be able to be harvested. It's just uh, a little bit of anxiety with the water going. But now that we have, I don't know, 10 of these, it should be filling up substantially quicker because we're not going to have any water disappear. Good lord, 975. See, this is why I'm bad at math. I don't think about that stuff. But we should be in decent shape. We're just going to have to be very careful about how we have our our water sucking out of here, because if this all gets sucked out, then the plants will start to die. Alright, so how long is this one going to be? I'm hoping it's not super long. I probably should have had the working hours extended to get more water. Six day drought. Okay, well guess what? We're working 24 hours a day now. At least until the water goes away down here. All right, so there's that water. And this water, this drawing is not going to take away from this water because this water is separated with a thing. So we'll go ahead and get these as much as we can. Fortunately, beavers do not starve to death or die of thirst until after a couple days. So I think it's probably going to come down to the wire. All right, and now this is completely dry except for down here. When I get the ability to do um, dynamite, I am going to dynamite this way down. It just takes a lot of time. All right, so that's all taken care of. We're going to have to watch our water depth here. Fortunately, there's still a good bit left. We just have to keep this pumping pretty much the whole time. Go ahead and pause all this. Yeah, okay. So we have to be more careful. I'm gonna have to put a irrigation tower up here mainly, mainly maybe, or just not use this for uh, planting all the way up here because it doesn't go super far because of how tall the, uh, the land is right here. I'm sure there's some sort of way for me to multi-select buildings and uh, turn them on and off at the same time. I just don't know what it is. And I've never thought to look it up. Say so it's about time you build a specific warehouse for each resource to keep the food ones near the housing zone. That's probably a pretty smart idea. I don't have a lot of uh, housing anything. So if we get rid of everything that's not food. So this one's just, this large warehouse is just food right here. We have enough wood, so we can actually go ahead and transition away from these. Uh, I don't have a thousand science. I think you can press P on the keyboard. Okay, that's not seeming to do anything. Oh, okay. Never mind, I had to have a building clicked on. Okay, well, that's actually really helpful. I never really see a reason to limit warehouses. Um, I guess it just depends on your style of play. Like, I wasn't super worried about it, but since this is a large warehouse anyway, just makes sense in my opinion. So I figured I'd give it a shot. I think we can kind of force it anyway.
need to build more anyway. Let's see, 80 planks. I've got tons of planks, tons of wood. Probably should be doing underground warehouses as soon as I have that. Uh... Oh, we have so much. Look at this. All right, I'll tell you what we're doing during our uh, drought here. We're getting knowledge. Knowledge. Because so we have unemployed beavers that we can take advantage of and exploit for their knowledge. Yes, science huts. Correct, Amundo. All right, we do need to watch our water here. So I'm going to go ahead and pause these because the water will evaporate and we're starting to get a little low. We can always uh, we can always pause the science huts. Inventor, whatever the game wants you to call it. I think we should be okay now with this water being paused, hoping it won't evaporate anymore, and we should still have enough to survive. I think. It only limits your total storage spaces. The travel time doesn't matter at all. Hmm. Okay. Well, hopefully in our uh, beaver utopia where we have 24-hour work hours during a drought, we can uh, get more science so we can do underground storage. Oh, this one's thirsty. We'll go get some go get some water, little beaver man. We've got enough to last the next two days, theoretically. Well now our science is going up pretty quick. I had like thirty inventors before I unlocked everything. Ah oh, yes, that's right, and your cycle thirty save or whatever. Awesome houses so beavers don't get born after old ones die of old age. Well, they're not really getting born that much anyway. Because I, I got space for um, 90 right now. I've got, if I've got enough food stored up. I'm not super concerned about it quite yet. But if it comes down to it, I'll probably end up doing that. I've got to figure out how to get these uh, things up here. Oh, that's what I was going to do. Get this. This is going to be so weird looking. We're going to have to be uh, more intentional with our design here. I guess I have to relocate this stairs over here. Just probably put that one there, and then as soon as that's done, I can get rid of these stairs. rid of that. Then I can come in here, get rid of the path, and then rotate this guy. And this is the ugliest thing I guarantee you have ever seen. And we'll just uh, preemptively do this in case I need to build another staircase up here. But now we've got the ability Big water tank near food warehouses be prioritized by haulers so they don't travel. See, I, that's the thing I don't understand about this game so far is prioritizing different stuff from haulers. I, I guess it prioritizes it, but it you can if you can prioritize multiple things, that kind of defeats the purpose of prioritizing, doesn't it? I guess I could also, you know, stop having the beavers work 24 hours. Seem to be doing okay. All right, drought's over, so we should be in good shape now. Okay, that's so much better pressing P on the keyboard. That is the uh, useful tip of the week. Also, we unlocked uh, underground warehouses. No, don't put that there. Get out of here. I guess... I'm just spam clicking at this point. Okay. So now we have our water wheels are turning again. And we know that these areas here are not going to be usable during a drought. So maybe 
Maybe we shouldn't have wheat planted here because it's going to dry out and die. So we should probably... turn these into carrots so they grow quicker. Would be my thought, at least. You can get a couple cycles, and if it dies, then you're not out that much. You're not out on a day nine of a ten-day wheat growth cycle. Well, it's a good thing we got what we got done, done. Because now I think we're going to be in a much better spot. We can put in some more water storage as well. Not going to worry about irrigation towers quite yet. We can do large water tank. Probably should have closer to the housing area now. I think I can do here and here. And then just have pathway. It's not the most efficient use of space, but I'll take it. That'll be fine. Now that we have a pretty good amount of science, we can go ahead and pause some of these. Get our beavers back working in other jobs. Of course, eventually we're hoping to have enough beavers where that won't be a problem, because we just expanded all of our housing to 90. That's probably where we will want to stay through the next route, unless we can get a bunch more water stored up. To that end, actually, why don't we go ahead and do some more stuff this way. Irrigation towers aren't necessary if you use your land well. See, that was my thought. I figured that would have been smart. I know our district is going to end somewhere over here. I just don't know how far out it's going to go. I guess we will find out whenever that stops. I'm hoping I can get at least another couple of uh, tiles out of it. I'd say unlock levees and floodgates and work on a big dam right before the water wheels to keep a natural reservoir that you can utilize during drought since it's going to get tough real soon. Okay. Well, I, I think I died in cycle 7 or 8 last time. So when you're talking about floodgates, so you want me to put floodgates like right here so it floods this entire area up here. Is that what you're, uh, you're looking at? So just like back up here, just gradually controlled flooding. That seems interesting. Okay. A triple floodgate. What's the difference between that and a... Uh... Is it just height? So I wish it would tell me inside of just saying, oh, double and triple. Okay, well, is it triple tall? Is it triple width? Is it triple thickness? Triples are long. Okay. Like how long? Like this is uh, like four squares wide. Are they longer than four squares? All right, triple floodgates all the way. Oh, look at this bad boy. Okay. So if I were to do, of course, I have to build uh, more beaver stairs or something. This seems to be probably the way to go. Three blocks height. So if I flooded this entire valley, that would be the way to go. Okay. All right. So if I put this here, I guess I just have to have stairs. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. So I'll tell you what we'll do. Then is we will do stairs here do a platform here then we'll just uh, keep on going wait it'll flood the right side okay um, it'll flood through here unless I build 
levies. Okay. Well, I've, I mean, I, I don't have enough science points yet. But I can build this here. And then I can put a levy here. I think. What will, uh... Are you kidding me? I'm about to be cucked by the districts again, aren't I? I hate this. I... I mm. This... The district mechanic is the most frustrating part of this game to me. So far. So now I'm going to have to build an entirely new district, and then beavers are going to die because I can't figure out how to work that. Just hoping it'll uh, not quite have to be that way. So I just wish I didn't have to even worry about districts at all. Oh, I see what you're see what you're getting at. So as soon as they harvest these potatoes, I guess I can make this into a uh, a path here, huh? All right, we'll get rid of that. So that ought to help extend range a little bit, I guess. What's funny is I still don't have a ton of water, but I can at least have these things entirely covered over here. We got more space that way. All right, so let's check out our... Oh, okay, here we go. So this might actually reach up here once these stairs are built. Put a platform on the mini reservoir you got. Oh! It's not going to affect anything? I didn't think I could build over water like that and not have it affect anything. I just did it over here because I knew I wasn't worried about it. Okay. So I guess I could build buildings on... Obviously I can't plant plants here, but I can't put buildings on top of it. Alright. But you've got a point about storage. I unlocked the underground warehouse and then I didn't even use it. So why don't we pop one of these over here for supplies. And then we can do one of these somewhere over here. This is not arable farmland. And we've got all sorts of trees. District lines are not builder's range. Builder's range is always further. Okay. Then why do they even bother with this then? I don't know. Alright, so we're going to leave... This can be height 2. I think without flooding. Maybe height 1.5. We'll just leave that like that. Green outlines. You can only go so many path blocks away from the center, so even a spiral starting next to the district center can only go so far. Okay. Alright, well, while we are over here, because we should have enough science points now, we'll go ahead and get this levy. And then identify the best spot to put this. Probably going to be here. So that'll get us another full block of height. I know I'm going to have to build a path over there. We're going to have to have a second district and all that nonsense. So if we are smart and intentional about how we end up doing this, probably still be fine to put in a... Uh... First of all, how far out does this go? Yeah, need a new district. Uh, 
very beautiful mechanic you can use with floodgates is increase the speed at which the wheels rotate by forcing water to go through two. Oh, I didn't even think about that. So you can like supercharge your uh, your water wheels, huh? That is a genius idea. That sounds phenomenal. All right, so I, I do remember as far as districts, I guess I don't have to have this turbo speed while I'm trying to figure this out. Have a distribution post and a drop-off point. So I'll go ahead and get a drop-off point established here. I'm gonna need more science before I do uh, distribution. So we're not gonna get to this too much quite yet. Upstream idea, yep. Uh, we're working on it. Just, uh... Oh, so now, now this is too far from builders. Okay. We're gonna have to do some stupid stuff here, aren't we? Can I build paths underwater? Are you kidding me? That actually works? Well, that's really dumb. I can't believe that actually works. I guess if it uh if it's stupid and it works, it's not stupid. Ah uh, yes, your your comment came in just a little late. But yeah. I did put paths underwater. I can't I don't I don't know why I didn't think that would work. Just uh seems kind of funny. Okay, that water is full. Storage. Now we're at full capacity for our beaver. We need to give our beavers something to do because they're they're well fed, but they are not very happy. Let's see, rooftop terraces are always kind of fun, huh? So we do one of these here. But I can't build anything on top of the rooftop terraces, so maybe not. maybe I should do rooftop terrace on top of something we're not going to be worried about here. Yeah, like right there. That works. Then up here we can put more housing. Prioritize hauling on the water tanks near home so they get filled up first. Alright, we'll do that. I think these probably aren't even... Yeah, we don't have enough beavers working these. But these will get filled up first. Now they're just waiting on planks. We got a lot of power going though. All right. Now I oh, I never made the rest of this have any uh any uh what do you call it? Plants planted here. Let's make it a potato party. I'm going to leave these as carrots because if our floodgate thing actually works, then we're going to be in pretty good shape. We just have to get this levee built. We don't have enough science points at this exact moment to make that happen. So we'll shut down these and try to get more beavers working in knowledge land. So we have quite enough going on already. Let's see how many of these are going to get occupied. Because as soon as I get the... Uh, 250 knowledge to do different drop-off points and pickup points and everything, then I think we should be okay. Alright, drop-off point for this district is going to end up being probably right here just so they don't have to travel very far. Actually, I can put this on this side. That's going to be a smarter thing to do. Drop-off point, import resources and distribution post is export. You can have districts specified for food and others for trees and others for metal and have active trade and exchange going on. Okay, well, we have metal here. So when we have our uh, pass go all the way out here, that would probably make sense. I know we're going to have to have uh, storage for water and stuff in here for these beavers, and that's going to have to be imported and exported. So I guess we can go ahead and put one of these here. I know it's not going to get built for a while, but never hurts to be prepared, right? Just do some storage there. 
we'll go ahead and preemptively get some uh, housing done. Start with some regular lodges, I said. Should only need a couple beavers for the first little bit. We just need to get 250. So drought should be coming pretty soon. Do we have any beavers working at our... Yeah, okay. That's, that's full up. I guess we can... Uh, Unpause some of these and get the rest of these beavers employed. Just want to make sure our science was full. Just a bunch for the workers. You don't need big populations in districts. Okay, it makes sense. So we'll just have these six should be completely fine. All right, well, I have the... Uh, requisite amount for distribution posts, so we can go ahead and pop this one here, get that prioritized. So we don't need distribution posts coming from this district to the other one just yet, because uh, we're only concerned about getting materials to build these levees, which is going to be logs. And then we just have to assign beavers over here. They can be homeless for a little bit. And once they build the levees, then... Uh, We'll be in good shape. And the floodgates aren't done anyway, so I'm not super worried about it. Just mainly need these to be finished. We can go ahead and prioritize these two, get them built. This is going to need all the planks anyway. It's going to take some time. Nothing to do in a range. Who's complaining about nothing to do in a range? Oh, the gather flag? That's right. Yes, that's uh, completely useless now. We'll just plant another potato here. Okay, so this is done. We're going to add a route to this one. It's going to be logs. And we'll let that run for a little bit and get some logs dropped off. And then once we have some logs, we'll get some beavers put in here. Ah, oh no, oh no, we're gonna, we're gonna make sure this doesn't become a disaster really quick. Although this is a very intriguing mechanic that this is set up. Oh, and now this has flooded this area, which is interesting to think about. Very cool. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to think about the. I I, I just opened the gates. Ha 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 ha! Oh, this is cool. This is cool. I just need. Okay, so now I can take some beavers here. Turn this up at turbo speed so I don't get past myself. Let's migrate four adults just to be builders to District 2. And we'll make this have some water too so they don't, you know, die. And then also some... Do we have a lot of grilled potatoes? Sure. Keep them up one block shouldn't affect anything. I've just put it up to um, to one and that was what was flooding back in here. So until I get the, uh, yeah, you see how it's going, uh, oh, I have them synchronized. They don't need to be synchronized. Oh, okay. No, one, one block high is actually working. I think. No, that's too much. Okay. Well, this is going to be interesting. We'll just have to leave these at half a block for now. Export multiples of the same item. Oh, so we're going to have multiple routes? Uh, 
All right, well, they're able to build most of this, it seems. Try to fill the hole. Well, that's what I did. Got water. Oh, oh my. Oh my. This is, uh, not ideal. How did, um, how did this happen? It's because I released the water too quickly? Okay, now it's going away. Okay, it seems it's fine. Okay. Well, that's a lesson learned. Fortunately, didn't end in disaster. The levee is progressing slowly. I guess I need a hauling post in uh, this district, no? Place a dams at the bottom of the stream with floodgates. Are you talking about um talking about this right here? Cause this is how I uh get across this river. I'm gonna have to have uh, a bridge if I'm replacing that with a floodgate. Huh. Distribution post is a hauling post for the important. Okay. Ah, uh, but I don't have a distribution post on the other side because I didn't have enough beavers. But if I put one here, I just need some planks coming over here then. That way you can raise them before droughts and lower them. Oh. Platforms. Okay. So I guess I could. Smartest thing probably would be to just go straight across here, no? Alright. So these trees are nowhere near growing. Nowhere near done. Go ahead and get rid of those. That'll probably improve our efficiency for tree collecting anyway. Okay, how are we looking over here? Okay, these are still still in progress, still waiting on logs. Flooded buildings? What's flooded? Who's flooded? Oh, that warning went away. Okay. At least they have housing over here now. And they have some food and they have some water. Alright, and this is almost done. So we can probably go ahead and raise very slightly the floodgates. There we go. Okay, so water coming in seems to be doing fine. You have maple trees for a colony of a thousand beavers. This whole pine area could be food. Oh, yeah, up here it could. And it probably should, honestly. So we can go ahead and... Uh, I'll tell you what I can do then, is I can go ahead and get rid of this forester. I just not replant anything. As soon as they're cut down, then I just uh, make this all food. Anyway, here comes drought stuff. Okay, so this area, I can go up another one, go up 1.5, and that will flood up to here. Plant some trees around that lake you made. Um, I could. I could, but I've got plenty of maple here. This is going to be more than enough for a long while. But when I expand up here, I might end up doing that. Alright, so it looks like uh, 
right now is going to be the move until it starts overtopping in just a little bit. And then we can slowly lower during the drought, like uh, what you guys were saying. So that actually makes a little bit more sense now. Looking good. Here comes water again. Yes. There we go. Cool. This is very nicely uh, controlled up here. All right. Okay, I'm getting the hang of this now. So now we have uh, this is being stocked with... Okay, so they've got some food. I don't feel as terrible about the uh, district stuff going on here. They've got little baby children. Little beaver babies, I guess. So now we could probably... So these trees are going to have to be cut down too. A lot of water, yes. Well, I don't, I don't want to run out of water. <laughs> right. Because it's really, really annoying when it runs out. All right, so now I see what you're talking about here with the... Um, the floodgates. I just, I'm going to be really, uh, have to be really careful about how these floodgates get installed. I don't need a triple floodgate. I'll go with a regular a single height will be fine. So I guess I could just go ahead and put the floodgates here beforehand and then get rid of the dam afterwards. Or I could just uh, change these over to platforms. Yes. Build them first before you destroy. Well, that's what I'm doing. I'll just leave them down all the way for now. A bit back near Big Lake. Are you talking about like way down in this area? Oh, 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 okay. 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 We'll, uh... We'll do that. So you're talking about, uh, how far out does this go anyway? Planting trees. Oh, it's not planting on this side at all because these are in the way, isn't it? There we go. Huh. So I guess I should do probably like right about here, huh? I guess I need to do double floodgates. So I want to take advantage of... Yes. Okay. That ought to work. Yeah, because that'll store all this up right here. Because even if it goes all the way to the very top of this, it's not going to flood this area. Have some nice depth there as well. Alright, well, I think I can safely... Uh, pause these guys for now. Paths underwater. Yes, yes, yes. We will get there very shortly. You can go diagonal? Really? You can't. Are you talking about with the floodgates? Well, I'm pretty happy with this right here. <laughs> I feel pretty smart. With uh, all that stuff, except these are all, uh, these plants are all dying down here. Which I feel like you know is fine, but go diagonal with the floodgates, alright. Uh, which one? Ooh, shredders. There we go. Where was the dynamite? Landscaping? Yes. So I could research that. It has to be made with uh, explosives factory, which requires metal. Okay, so why did I... Okay, that was dumb of me to do that. Okay, lower it now, 0.5. All right. Hmm. 
Well, I'll tell you what, it was working so... Okay, here comes the flood. There we go. Science some canals. I don't see... Uh... Oh, with dynamite for canals. So I guess now is probably as good a time as any to do a scavenger flag up here. I didn't leave myself much room to uh, to get past this, did I? Well, that's annoying. Why did I do that? Because I want to harvest this. I do a scavenger flag. I have that. Okay, so if I put this here. Okay, I just have to build a path to it. Do it around the distribution post. Yep. Exactly what I ended up doing. Okay, why did these... Did these beavers die? Did I just miss it? They've got, um... They've got potatoes. And they've got water, so why would the beavers die in here? Did they just get old? Well, that must have been what it was. Alright, so let's, let's pause real quick, because I have uh, completely ignored the fact that these are currently running with no water. So I thought the um, this was going to help that. So I guess I can just kind of leave this alone for now. Because remember, our floodgate down here is not completely done yet. Um, yeah, we'll just keep that up to two. Just have to wait for these to get done. They just don't have enough uh, stuff, I guess. Need more Need more path. We have so many, so many beavers going on over here. Too far from builders. Oh, no. Oh, I forgot. This path doesn't connect here. All right. I win the idiot award here. I built the path to the wrong district. There's got to be a better way than to just click this all every time. Hmm. Destroy the git and build one before. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to. Uh, gonna have to do that. So I build. So I'm put one, just put it here. Okay. Then I can just put that right back there. That should fix it, right? There's a mass delete option, huh? Okay. I, just, I still want to know what happened to the rest of these beavers. Did they just get old? They must have gotten old. Well, I can I can send more over there anyway. Let's do four more beavers over there. Adults. You can deconstruct multiple roads like you destroy crops in construction. Oh, using the delete buildings tool. Okay. Alright. Well, now we should have... Seven adults, which means go down to two here, which means one person should be able to go and scavenge, and it looks like they are. Okay, so what we can do here is we can add a new route going here with metal blocks. Scrap metal, that's what we want. And that way they can have something to do. And now we only have a little bit of time left, so I'm going to go ahead and 
open the floodgates a little bit. Bring some water back to our production areas. Just put that right back up to one. So it won't flood instantly. Okay, we have a little bit of water stored here too, which will keep these water. That's nice. So now these, as soon as all of these pine trees have grown up, then we can indeed turn this into farmland. That is a very smart thing. Whoever, I forget who said that, whoever said that, you are an intelligent human being. Go ahead and put in some more lodges over here. Because why not? I can remember how to click stuff. All right. So now, since we have food coming in here, as soon as we have dynamite available, we can actually kind of uh, cut something in here, I think, to do watering. Or at least get some of this knocked down so this can be more farmland up here. But that's going to require metal. So let's see, what's going on in here? Do we have, we have metal blocks, we have scrap metal, we have three scrap metal. So if we go over here, shredder. That's going to require 30 scrap metal, which we don't have yet. But we're getting there. Alright. No one is harvesting the maple. Yeah, they are. We've uh, got seven, eight, nine lumberjack flags over here. Or eight. There were nine. They should be harvesting these trees as soon as they grow up. We still have a bunch of unemployed beavers, so we got to get some more of this stuff going here. So I think we can do some more gear stuff, the paper mills. We. Do we have any paper mills here? That was the previous playthrough, I think. All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, see what we can do about that. Hmm, where to put this? I mean, obviously I can have these power things go wherever I want. Hmm. Let's start with one for now. The printing press. Okay, because I know paper is requirement for, yes, the large windmill, which we don't have the science for anyway. All right, try it's over. So that, that'll help us a little bit. So as soon as this overtops, we'll just keep raising it slightly until this is back to the way it's supposed to be. We could probably build a second level of levees here, now that I'm thinking about it. No, don't put that there. Printing press is late game, gotcha. Maple line, I think it's worth to build two tree planting stations spaced around them to cover more land since you were cutting faster than growing. Okay. I didn't think he was having a problem keeping it uh, planted, though. They just take forever to, to actually grow. These last a long time. But I'm going to have to build another one over here anyway. Once this is all taken care of. Go ahead and raise these up a little bit. Well, I guess I can leave this one at one. And leave, like what you were saying earlier, to get some flow going. Just build up some uh, pressure behind here. Now, 
How high? I think I can do another full block after this is all built. These don't ever deteriorate, do they? They're just permanently forever and ever and ever. Amen. Good. That would be interesting. Never deteriorate. Wow. Sure would be nice if real world stuff worked that way, huh? Alright, as soon as they finish these, then we'll just go ahead and flood this whole thing. That should also give us a little bit more room for arable farmland over here as well. Plant some trees on top, you'll need them in the future. So like, yeah, right here I am going to plant some trees. I just have to figure out, I think it's probably going to have to be this. Um, okay, we got we got to fix this problem real quick. <laughs> oh boy. Well, building stopping working when flooding is fine as long as it doesn't destroy them. Which is how I thought it was going to work. Well, the building's not working when flooded is going to be a problem. Because this is what's controlling our builders. So how do I... Uh... How do I get rid of this water here, then, if it's, uh, it's just sticking around, huh? It's going to evaporate eventually, right? Hopefully. I did lower the floodgate. This is water that was stuck here after the fact. Alright, I guess I just have to wait, huh? Arms on priority for harvesting and others on plant. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Okay, so we'll swap those two. We'll do planting on one there. Okay, that's a smart idea. I need this to evaporate. Post haste. It's going to take a couple days, isn't it? Oh, and the underground warehouse is flooded too. That's really annoying. Migrate the beavers. Okay. I guess I can just bring them back later. I mean, they have food. But if the storage isn't working, they can't get to it. Uh, I guess we'll just wait. Just wait for this to evaporate. Well, paper mill seems to be working at least. I have 23 unemployed beavers. Well, then I'll take care of some of that. Yeah, see, like right here, look at all this. These are all planted. Like, this guy doesn't have anything to do. So I think he's probably fine. Storage and housing worse when flooded. Okay. Alright, well, they can, uh, they can go back anyway. Migrate, uh, how, how much housing do I even have over here? I've got housing for 18. Okay. Let's start with, uh... And not 109, 10, 10 adults. I think you restarted just about as many times as I have. Yeah, um, this is the third restart. Stock up on metal blocks for big windmills. Plant a shredder. Okay, so the shredder, I think, is going to have to go in the main district. Just because that's where most of our stuff's going to be happening for now. I just don't have enough. Um, oh, I have 37. I can actually build one now. So... Might as well just go ahead and put this on this side. 
Needs electricity. Okay. Um, well, in that case, we can put this over here. Let's just put that there. That'll be fine. Okay. So now this levee is almost done. Just waiting on a couple more logs. They're getting to work. They should have plenty of food, kind of. Put Shredder in District 2 so you don't have to export scraps. I don't have power in District 2. That's like that's literally the only thing this is exporting is scrap metal. I guess I can go ahead and do some more uh some more of these. Alright, well this is done, so we can go ahead and raise our floodgates here and flood this whole area. So that's gonna be a ton of water once this is all all taken care of. Hmm. Power with beaver wheels. Power transcends districts, okay. All right. So let me uh get this popped up here. I guess I probably should. Oh, well, this is already built anyway. So I'll keep this one here, but I guess I can build a second one in here. Then have uh, more space. Right, let's put this up to 2.5. Get that filled up. taking longer than I thought it would. Notice for each shredder to be 24-7 functional, it needs constant supply from two scrap metal flags. Okay. Well, we're, uh... We're working on it. <laughs> and now these guys have no food. Okay. Or water. Well, they have water. I don't know what these people are, uh... Are on about. So I guess this is just area is just so huge it takes forever to uh to fill up, huh? Right, I guess we'll take this one back down to two just to get enough water to get people uh moving here. Boy, this is taking a long time. It's not quite high enough. You think it would have come through by now? Look, I can I can see it. It's right here. Come on. Gears will bottleneck you before metal does. Well, I've got uh, I've got decent gear production going. Check the outlines of the map to see if it's ah. Oh. Well, that's an inconvenient truth right there. Well, down to one point five we go. No. Okay, and this is completely done up here. So move this up to two. That ought to have this nice and tall. Yeah, water's running off the map. I will have to take care of that in a bit. I'm just going to probably have to build another district to do that. 1.5 forever. Well, no, not forever. Just for now. Because what I'm going to end up doing is putting something across here because then if I can get that done I can have all of this water too and that's a ton a ton, a ton, a ton of water have to make a new district put a levy on it, yeah, okay we will get there so I guess I can go ahead and uh... well I mean I'm not I'm not worried about that right now this is going to take me a while to get beavers over there anyway. IRL caliber dams. Yeah, I think that's the idea. 
So I think in the middle here, or actually it doesn't have to be in the middle, I could just have it be this one, unsynchronized, take it down to 1.5. That will get this area operating and still have a pretty good amount of water maintained. And we can go ahead and... Oh. I never finished building over here, did I? This is kind of flooded, too. All right. Well... I guess we'll have to... Uh, Move this one down to 1.52. That ought to take care of that. Oh, I never extended the path. Okay. Well, that ought to... That ought to help a little bit. Just get that platform going, and then we can get rid of the dam. As soon as they have another way... Or else then we can rebuild with platforms. Never connected the path. Yeah, I just... I, I guess chat's probably about... 10, 15 seconds behind. Yeah, we just took care of that. Yeah, so I think we're probably in pretty good shape now. Got plenty of food. Storage-wise... Oh yeah, we got storage for days. Looking good. We're getting somewhere here. There aren't enough unemployed beavers, so I guess we have enough water and food. I guess it's probably time to start building more housing over here, huh? The most latency I've seen your stream have. Um, Well, I know Twitch has a... Uh-oh. I clicked out of this. Hold on. I forgot I can't do that with this game. Um, Twitch has hyper low latency mode, which I always turn on. I don't know how to do that on YouTube stream. But we need more housing. So if we put in more double lodges here, yeah, put double lodges here, then we can put more regular lodges underneath, and then we can connect these with some lovely stairs. Go ahead and get double platforms. Put that there. 2,700 water and food for next drought. You're good at math, aren't you? Well, you know what that means. It means we need more water storage. Looks like we're getting there. So I suppose I should probably put a... Uh... Mm hmm. I guess we could put this... No, there's not enough room here. All right. This isn't even full either. Make sure I leave a room to put a path. Alright, we can go ahead and over top of this. All right, so let's get, um, now that this area is taken care of, we'll go ahead and demolish these resources. And this is all going to be farm. All farmland. Water storage next to the pumps. I've got, a, I've got two over here. I guess I could build another one. Try to think the most optimal way to pop this in here. I guess I'd just be boring and do that. Move the farms on the platform you build over water so more farmland. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. I see what you're talking about here. So we could do a couple farmhouses here. And by a couple, I mean three. And as soon as those are done, we can just get rid of these two and put more stuff here. Oh, but Steven, I do. I do need that much farmland for just a few beavers.
drought in three days. Okay, so we've got some time to prepare. I think we're still uh, still looking pretty good. Yeah, improving the pathing is going to be a uh, a big help here. Because then I can get rid of this path too, and this can be more farmland type stuff. Waiting on logs. Path on roof of apartments. That's what I did. Well, the floodgates can't really go any higher. Just to get water flowing, this has to be at 1.5. These ones down here, I think, are already at maximum. Yeah, they're already all the way up without flooding. Well, these two aren't, but... So I think if I put this any further up, it's going to start flooding up here. Maybe not. I wonder why this is taking so long. I've got so much science right now. I don't need all this science going. I already have beavers working for that. Should floodgate the lake. Yeah, that's probably going to be... I don't know if I'll get to that tonight, but that's going to be one of the uh, next things I do. Or just put a levee here, period, point blank. So this is permanently up this high. Alright, I'm going to need... There's still... There's still water tanks that haven't been filled yet. So I guess I probably... Probably could use another hauling post, huh? I have to imagine that would be helpful. PhD beavers, yeah. I think this is... Uh, these are just going to stay at 2.5 this whole time. This guy's at 1.5, and as soon as this goes down, we'll just keep lowering him and lowering him and lowering him so we have the uh, water flow here. Yeah, so the... Well, having you guys tell me a little bit about how the district worked helps. It just gets... To, it gets to be very annoying after a while. Oh my god, I have so many planks. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. I have two metal blocks, though, which is nice. Okay, so this farmhouse is done, which means we can get rid of this farmhouse. Turn it into some more potatoes. This farmhouse is done, which means this farmhouse is done, which means these potatoes are a go. And I can demolish the path here, which means I can... Actually, I don't know. That might make it hard for the beavers to actually get to the uh, to get to the crops. Hopefully, not because there's this path here. What's with the wind park near industrial areas? So, um, I could. I think if we manage our uh, water inlet from the floodgate well enough, then we should be okay without having uh, windmills. But I probably will build one at some point. I think I provided for... Yeah, I could put high power shafts going up here. I'd like to avoid that if I can. So I spent so much resources doing the uh, the windmills in the previous playthrough before I had to restart. I think that was probably one of the reasons everything went so poorly. 
All right, so I have 1,500 and something. So it's definitely not enough, uh, not enough water, but we do have the advantage of having all this water stored up here to keep pumping during all of the drought stuff. Well, these gates are already, can't really go uh, too much higher than that. So all the water's already going away. The flow gates are working exactly how they're supposed to. I think. Are you talking about this one? Yeah. Yeah, so now we're not going to lose anything down here. I guess I can raise this up. So we keep our water. Oh, this is killing all the crops here. That's slightly annoying. I guess I don't need these. Right, so now we just have these three working here. Eight day drought. I got plenty of food. Not worried at all about food. Water might prove to be slightly challenging here. I have a lot of unemployed beavers. Right now it seems chill, but it's lethal down the line. Yeah, that's why I want to get so much more water stored up here. We will, uh, we'll get there. Science time, yes. Thank you indeed for reminding me about that. I guess I can go ahead and unlock a whole bunch of stuff. I have tons. Metal platform. So wait, how much science? Five hundred? No, we're not. We're not going to get that quite yet. Uh, irrigation towers. Depth mark. How do I not have depth markers yet? Guess we can uh, pop one of those there, and that'll give us a pretty good idea of whatever that does. You got a big ass dam, you don't need to worry about water as long as you keep the little land watered. Gotcha. I'll tell you what, these floodgates are like a game changer thing right here. I should probably build some more pumps here though, no? We'll probably be okay. We just have a pretty good amount already done. Now we're close to filling up storage yet. Haulers. Yes. Tip from other streamers, you can bomb channels, then build power lines through the channel if you need, then platforms on it for your path so you can transport water and energy between districts. That's pretty smart. We hadn't got quite got to dynamite yet. I know we had... Um, I have to build an explosives factory that requires 30 uh, metal beams, and I only have 7 right now. Which is why we're doing all this gathering here. Oh, we have unemployed beavers. You know what that means. Everyone gets to harvest scrap metal. Prime farmland. Uh, yes, actually, this would be great farmland if I can get uh, water stored over here. Then if I can get this flooded, or either flood this and cap this over here, or not do that. I can just dynamite this whole thing down. That's more farmland, too. I think you lower the working hours to save what? Yeah. We can do that. I don't need them to be working 20-hour days anyway during a drought. There's not that much to do. Of course, this isn't going to do anything when there's no power anyway. As far as water levels go, still looking pretty good. 
might be able to uh, lower a little bit more to get some industry working here. So what building canals mean it's good to irrigate dead lands since the irrigation posts are expensive. Okay, don't flood now. Got it. So I could... I'm just going to have to be careful about how I do canals. I guess I would have to do... I'd have to come somewhere through here and just uh, blast it out. I think that's going to be a probably middle of next week problem based on the amount of time I have to play and stream right now. But we'll uh, we'll get to that for sure. Still have two unemployed beavers. What could I have these beavers do? How many do I have working? Oh, okay. Well, that solves that problem. Just hire the distribution post in full. I guess I could just have these uh, all going. Use the levees. Are you talking about for blocking off the edge of the map or what? Two levees and use a double floodgate. For the distribution post. Oh, are you talking about here? Okay, okay, okay. So I guess I could build like a little channel here and then dynamite out a lake. Is that what you're talking about? Or like just a, a, a single channel going through here? Sometimes I'm slow. <laughs> well, that would make sense. We'll get to that at some point. Levies you built in District 2. Oh, so you want me to replace one of these with a floodgate? Well, that's going to flood this entire area if I don't have it controlled. Okay, okay. Well, I guess I can go ahead and start building some sort of pathway to get into a canal. Just have it go kind of around here, huh? I think there's a delay. Yeah, there's definitely a delay for uh, for chat for sure. So if I did something like this, I don't want to build this quite yet because I don't want to use all my wood. So if I had, um, if I built a too high levee and just kept that completely filled, would it irrigate the land around it? Because that would be pretty interesting if it did. Yeah, I'll definitely have to wait for dynamite. So I just have to have, uh, I mean, I can unlock it now. I just don't have the steel for it yet. And this is going to take a while. But it does have uh, 18 scrap metal. I guess it could be a little faster. Alright. 2.6 days left. We are slowly draining some water down. So I guess I can lower this again. That's 1.5 isn't even enough. There we go. What you should do is build more inventors. How to keep 20 unemployed have a job. I built a bunch over here. I, I guess I don't need that many. We can keep going, though. Actually, I should build a gap here because there's already a path so we can optimize our path mining. We've got power. We're looking good. I guess this is too far away. So I guess I can put some uh, some more path here. That ought to take care of 
most of the rest of this if they couldn't get to it. And then I guess I can do more potatoes over here, huh? There we go. I think... Okay, so these three at the end are not going to be part of anything here, are they? Well, drought's almost over anyway. We should be fine. Having this water stored up here was extremely helpful. <laughs> We've been going almost two hours now. Hour 45. So we'll probably go through one more cycle and then call it a night. So I got some other stuff I need to take care of, but this is a lot of progress. Look at all this. Oh, it is flooding down here. I guess I could uh, lower this a little bit. Take care of the flooding. And pop that back up. And pop this back up. Kill the path. You talking about the dam? I probably should. Oh, no, this one? Okay. I didn't know how much uh, room they'd have to have for getting to crops. Alright, there we go. I guess I can go ahead and unpause. Because there is some water here. I know it's going to go away almost immediately. But we only have 0.7 days left in the drought, so I can probably go ahead and lower this with no ill effect. Just get these pumping. And get this down as well. So we have industry return. So the water will be back soon enough before this all drains out. Potato land. Yes, I need to build more farmhouses over here. So, we should probably get rid of the dam here. And then instead, come back here with platform. And then just build the path across here. And then, we can take our platform here... Build three wide. And then we can build farmhouses. Maybe here for farmhouses isn't the best idea. I can definitely do a forestry though. Maybe move this guy. Farmers don't need paths. Oh, but to demolish it, they needed the path. Gotcha. Just make more potatoes. All right, and that's the end of the drought, so we should have our water flow coming back very soon. Then we can get the rest of the uh, area where the dam used to be. Yes. Now we wait. I'm going to have to get more uh, water storage built as well.
All right. So that is looking pretty good. We've got our water storage capacity. I wish it would tell us the entire capacity of the whole system because we have three, six, nine. Got 1,800 here. We've got another math. We got like three or 4,000 worth of capacity, but I think we're going to need more. I guess we just keep building some over here. But the when these farmhouses are built, they'll have uh, food range. That's even a real word. Basically, this entire area here. Oh, we can get rid of these stupid lumberjack flags. This can be all farmland. I think these will cover this area. Yes, okay. Good, good, good. Excellent. Our haulers are working. We need more log storage. Oh, that's why we haven't been harvesting so much wood. We don't have anywhere to put it. Well, that was a dumb mistake on my part, not taking advantage of that, wasn't it? Wheat. Oh, that's right. I forgot about closing the dam up here. Just gradually take care of that, I guess. I was not even thinking about doing wheat because I have I have the grist mill. I suppose it probably should should do some wheat, huh? Go ahead and get rid of all this right here can be wheat. Well, there's some wheat here. Oh, you know what? Yes. Yes. Let's do this. It makes so much more sense to do. Why did I just pause and unpause twice? Because as soon as this is all taken out, we can put more log storage. That is a smart idea. Assuming anyone ever comes to remove all this stuff. Now, for them to remove this, does it have to be a farmer that does this? I don't actually know. Oh, that's right, I can't put this above 1.5. Okay, so this guy no longer has anything to do in range? Of course he does, there's still stuff here. Okay, they're, they're taking care of it. We're fine now. Cool. So those two will be added, that'll be nice storage right there. Okay, and this is all going to be wheat. You know, I could I could actually go ahead and get rid of this small warehouse because this underground one is so much bigger. I think we have another one over here. Yeah, we don't we don't need these small ones anymore. Well, I guess I should probably empty it first, huh? <laughs> now this can all be farmland. Oh wow, there's got to be a significant delay if you're just now saying wait empty. I just I just did that a couple minutes ago. A couple seconds ago. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm dumb, but I'm not that dumb. Not usually, at least. Okay, we've got 32, or 31, I guess, 
metal blocks. So that means we can do... What was I waiting on? I don't even remember. Oh, the printing press. But that's not immediately pressing. Uh... Oh, this one. Explosives factory. Ho, 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 ho. We have the ability. And that requires power as well, doesn't it? Okay, so now... Now we're going to do some, some dumb garbage right here. And transfer the uh, stuff by height over here. I will build. Uh, I'll build two of the uh, explosives factories. Yes. I will do a transfer. Actually, I should go ahead and put these down, huh? If I can remember where they keep this stuff. Okay, rotate here. Oh, you know what? That's very smart, using the path behind the shredder. I should have definitely done that. Okay, if I do rotate this, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. I'll get this built, and then I can do the high shaft, because if I build stuff in front of it, they can't get to it. Okay, I'll do that. Get this done. Build that, build that. And then on the end of that, I can just put one of these. Put this over. And right here and right here. There we go. Now we're thinking. Where'd all those metal blocks go? Why are there only six left? Don't tell me I deleted them when I uh, when I cleared the first one. I didn't think they had a okay, paper mill. Yeah, we can do paper mill. If I can remember how to get to stupid stuff. All right, man. You know, shit. Mm. It is what it is, all right. We're, uh, that's, that's just where we're at, man. It's, uh, it's, it's rough out here. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're having a, we're having a day here. We're, uh, we're, we're certainly, we're, we're trying our best. Well, you know, you can't win them all. At least this one has seven. All right, where is there more... Uh... Oh my god, it's all the way up here? Oh, I think I can get there. I hope I can get there. Hmm. If I put stairs here. I don't know if it's going to be enough in a straight line. Well, there, I mean, there's still plenty here to be harvested. Even if you don't get solid foundation for a temper... Yeah, right. For sure. Well, I think I can get this... Should be able to get this harvested with... You know, Ten flags. I'll probably go ahead and put couple more here. So I can always import more beavers, right? Alright, you people, quit whining. There's plenty of stuff to scavenge. I'll just keep moving it closer and closer, I guess. Okay, no unemployed beavers. We'll go ahead and transplant a couple of... Transplant. Is this an operating room? Move beavers over. Don't delete them. Okay. 
It's just uh, having some real dumb, dumb hours here. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. I keep doing it. I just keep doing it, don't I? I'm, I'm something else, huh? It is, uh... It's it's really something else. We're gonna we're just gonna keep adding more uh, scrap metal routes, I guess. So it's it's not going over fast enough. There we go. <laughs> well, you know, you can't tell me that uh, I'm making this stuff up. At least, yeah, we're uh, we're <laughs> we're trying our best. Okay, so now it's telling me I don't have... Oh, and it doesn't have power going to the paper mills because the explosives factory is not built because there's not enough metal. Okay, I see. I see how it is. I should have... I can afford to have more storage over here. So I've got, I've got water probably need to have more more food more grilled potatoes more water for this let's probably just go ahead and do another two no not regular potato I want grilled potato nobody wants regular potatoes you gotta cook them All right, that ought to take care of some of this and I can add more housing over here I got science points to spare. I'll, I'll do the single, the single lodge. Why not? All right, I guess I should probably actually like get more water stored over here, huh? I got haulers are working hard. Maybe we're just not getting enough water. All right, let's uh, let's build another couple of these. Let's see what we can get away with here. Prioritize building by haulers. All right, let's do that. Beautiful potato land. Yeah, that's a lot of potatoes. It's a lot of potatoes. Build platforms and pumps in your new district. I don't have... Um, I guess I could. But this is going to dry out so fast over here. Almost doesn't seem like it's uh, worth it. When you have the haulers or the distribution posts are able to get water in here. I probably should, though. Don't forget to leave a like on the video if you haven't already. Hey, this is a live video. I don't know if you can like a live video, but if you feel so inclined, it would be appreciated. Still interested to see what the long-term metrics of these, like, two-hour streams are versus a regular 45-50 minute video. So like obviously if it's a live stream people are engaged they're going to stick around but uh I don't know how many people watching it on a vod are going to want to uh sit through an entire 2 hours for a farmhouse prioritizing planting to optimize talking about over here all right we'll flip that one over you can it helps okay these ought to be empty there's these are still not empty what's, what's even in here paper how are these how are these still not empty Hmm. Okay, so these guys are all complaining there's nothing to do, huh? 
And what about all this scrap metal, huh? Well, I guess what I probably should do is have... Oh, there's so much scrap metal here. All right, we're doing we're doing more routes for scrap metal. All right, how's eight routes for scrap metal sound? We've got a space for thirty-four. We have thirty-two. They'll grow up soon enough. Only one beaver can access a tower at a time. Okay. Really enjoy catching live, but it's three or third. Oh my god, go to bed. But well, thanks for coming out, I appreciate it. Off to bed, enjoy the rest of the stream. Yeah, come back anytime. The VOD will be here for the rest of what you missed if you feel like coming back and checking it out, but we'll see you in the next one. That's one of the nice things about streaming on YouTube that is, in my opinion, a little better than Twitch, is the VOD storage is a lot easier to access. And it also mixes into your general content. You can put it in playlists and stuff. Versus streaming this on Twitch, it would really only be the, I think, like 95 or 96 people that follow me on there. And then it goes away after two months. I think it's two months. So that's why I, th I think most of the city building stuff is going to be here. And then Twitch will be for stuff like, uh, like the Persona series and other RPGs and stuff that I'm getting into. It's nice to have it on the YouTube, though, because, you know, it got a thousand something people that subscribe. So, hey, maybe someone will see it and pop in and say hi. And it can be a continuation of all the other series and stuff. Yeah, watch time. De I mean, my, my watch time was already really great because I'm uploading 30 to 45 minute videos daily for the past month and a half. And I get a good chunk of people watching them. Yeah, you can't export to YouTube, but it's just. I don't want to upload four hours of footage every day. It's a lot. And also, like, the, the vibe over on Twitch is a little different. Whereas here on YouTube, it's a little bit more um, family-friendly, I guess, is probably the best way to uh, describe it. Different people over there. Love my Twitch people, though. But there's definitely stuff gets discussed in there that I would not put on YouTube. Not, like, anything bad. It's just, yeah. It's a bigger platform over here. And it's going to be archived for a lot longer, so you have to be a little bit more careful with what you end up saying. Let's see how far out... Okay, so I could, if I wanted to, probably get away with building a, uh, a thing up here. So if I do a... Just humor me here. I guess what I probably should do first is get these trees. Because we have the ability... Dynamite factory is ready. Okay, cool. Looks like it is, um, needs paper to make dynamite. I guess that makes sense. All right, drought incoming. We need to get, oh, we need a lot more food. We need a lot more food. Arc for cutting. Yes. Yes, let's do that. I have to click on the thing first. We'll take care of that. Okay, so I was completely not thinking about food or water. We're going to need quite a bit more here. Okay. No, I can't do that. Got to have this in a spot that makes sense. Any more grist mills and potato cookers? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I hadn't done the grist mill because I was running out of space in my one little area for it. But now that I have the ability to do stuff over here, we can do some of these. And I guess I still only do have uh, two potato cookers, huh? Okay. 
can I do? I'll do one here. I'll save that for something else because it's a three by three. I can put one here. Put a couple more there. I have to have a lot of potatoes at this point. Oh, I don't have that many. Irrigation could help with food. Irrigation is just kind of a colossal disaster, though, every time I've tried it. So I need to do... God, I wish I could fit these in here better. Oh, I could put a little, little tiny tank over here because it's just caught like that. Other side of the river. Yes, um... I just kept most of this for, um, for tree planting, but I could. I don't think I'm lacking farmland, just so much as I'm lacking the crops of growing fast enough. Oh, you're right. I can build platforms. I could have this entire area right here could be platforms. Except it's going to have to be double platforms. Yeah. a lot of... Uh, I've got 1,700 planks. So if I build that there, I can put a lot of a lot of water storage. I guess I should probably have these like this. Yeah. I'll leave that side there. Go ahead and get rid of that, because they haven't done anything with it yet. Get rid of that path. Well, we're just we're just going to min-max the hell out of this, aren't we? No, I have I have a better way to do that. We we learned about it. Good job. All right. If I do this, this, and this, depth marker is no longer useful. Probably didn't need it in the first place anyway. No, that should not go there. Force perspective is screwing with me. There we go. That's what I wanted. There we go. That will help substantially. Well, at least our grist mills are going. We still don't have enough flour coming in to really uh, do anything. Oh, it's because we don't have any unemployed beavers. All right. Well, I guess we're about to when this all dries up. in about 0.5 seconds. Well, the floodgates are already up. We'll just leave that be like so. I guess I have to zoom in to do this. I can't just fly by the seat of my pants. Alright, um, do I have... Do I have the means to do dynamite yet? So I don't know that I had... How do I... Okay, I have nine dynamite. So I just have to figure out... I have to figure out exactly where I want the canals to go. That's the problem. Because you said this would be good farmland here. But now I have to be careful because of this is holding stuff up. So I guess if I do I guess I don't need this side over here. I just need that side. I just need to kind of block this in a little bit. So I can build on top of these if I want. 
So I think if I let water in through here, it should spread all the way over here, no? So I could just have this whole thing be enclosed. Then this would just be a little lake after I uh, place this with a floodgate. And this is not so uh, high anymore that I have to worry about it flooding. Not for right now, at least. Dynamite to mark the water path. I'm more concerned about getting it through the, uh, the levee right here. Oh, okay, I, I see what you're getting at. Replace this instead of a levee. You'll have to excuse me, I'm slow. <laughs> it's just sometimes it's it's just not just not smart. Just do a double height. Then uh get that done there. And then when this is done, we can just get rid of here. And then we can do eventually. Then we can just blow this up, and that'll go right through here. We'll have stairs go up over it, or a platform, or whatever. need stairs. Yep. Just one platform. Won't work how you think it will. Well, I'm going to have on either side of this, I'm still going to put like a one high levy. Just, I've just put this here to control output. I know we're getting there. I'm just building depth to it because it'll eventually go down, right? I can have individual locks and stuff. I don't know, we'll see. Or at the very worst, I can just have crops up here. Export, exp oh. You know what? I hadn't even thought of that. Add new route. Now right, we can get a little bit of water coming in here. Well, actually, not during not during the night, because no one's, uh... I guess people are working at night, huh? Olivia's there to force the water into the hole. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. Don't forget the needs of District 2. They've got food and water. Uh, they should be okay. It's still a relatively small number of beavers. It's 34, and they have a water tank, and they've got um, I've got grilled potatoes and water going in there. Should be good for at least a little while. Oh, you know, I didn't even think about that. We'll build them a little uh, little campfire somewhere. Maybe if I can find a spot for it. No, just put that there. Why not? What's with the one park on the hill behind? Side... Okay. I, I see what you're getting at. I just hadn't been building it because I didn't want to invest the resources into it. Oh, okay. I don't need... I don't want an upper limit on potatoes and water. Okay. I didn't even know that was an option. Okay. What what are you uh what are you knowing? What did I make some sort of horrific mistake? I thought I just made it infinite. How did I just disable input if I turned off the... Okay. Alright. 
Do I just have to set this to like a thousand or something? I guess I could just do 300, not 3900. Hmm, okay. Still would make more sense to me to just uncheck this and just not have a limit at all versus you just kill all your dudes. But, alright. Hmm. Well, at least we still have all our food over here. Did I not put a platform here? Oh no, they're still building it. When you uncheck it, imports inf infinitely till the oh till the first district runs out. Okay, I don't think we want that. I do think we need more water coming in here. Definitely do. So we're starting to get a little low. All right, well now this is this is going up a lot more, so that's good. Now that these trees are done, as soon as we can flood this, then this can be all farmland up here. That'll probably be the uh, Tuesday regular video that goes up because we're running out of time here. We'll go, we'll go to the end of this drought and then... Uh, pick this back up on Tuesday. I'm doing an ostrich stream tomorrow. Uh, probably earlier in the day. So I've got something to do uh, in the evening. But uh, maybe maybe late morning, early afternoon uh, in the GMT minus four time zone. So that'll be Eastern time in the US. Of course, I'll make a community post before I do that. But it'll probably be then and that'll be maybe an hour, hour and a half. No, we'll see. I, I do still want to do stuff daily, but the live streams tend to be a little bit easier for me to uh, get stuff done versus if it's like late at night and I get home from work and I have to record a video and then rush to get it out for the next day. How's the scrappers get more builders? Um, Yeah, I just wanted to make sure that this was going to be done, but if it's only one tower, then I don't... Uh... Excuse me? Yeah, if there's only one tower, it's not going to do too much more. And then these get uh, emptied out. Because I really only just need the one, because it's just the one tower. And I don't have a builder's post over here. Um, builder's hut. Uh, I'm going to delete the metal scavengers as soon as they're empty. Oh, they are. I did that before... I don't, Steven, I don't know if you were paying attention, but I deleted, I don't know, probably 50 or 60 units worth of metal because I just wasn't paying attention. We were definitely starting to run low on food and water, which is... Uh, Unfortunate. Okay, now we have more water. We're doing okay. Well, you know what? Maybe I don't want to. Okay, they're they're already building this. I guess it's too late. Well, I don't have any gears because I have all my production turned off because there's no water wheels. I am going to do windmills. That'll probably be the Tuesday episode. Putting a bunch of windmills in here. I want to see if we can get this... Uh... It's all done here, though. <laughs> OK. 
can't get required materials. Uh, I'm importing logs, right? Yeah, I am. Okay, okay, well, if this is happening, then I don't need all these. <laughs> yeah, YOLO, that's right. That's our motto. Guess I just need a lot of logs. Yes, I do need to change the log limit. Uh, um, I also should be uh, having a log storage over here. That'll help. Uh, I'm low on water. I'm not deadly low on water. They're not going to thirst to death. They got a day. They don't thirst to death in one day. One thing I do miss about Twitch when I'm streaming on YouTube is I don't have alerts on uh, on YouTube. There's probably a way to do it. But uh, I haven't figured that out. Lower floodgates and activate some of the pumps in the big lake. All right, let's try that. I needed to go ahead and turn them on anyway. No, 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 I don't have a day until the droughts start. I have a half a day until the droughts over. I guess I should probably just keep this at 1.5 because that's about how it's uh what's gonna get to. Just have this one one ruins done. Alright, and these trees are all taken care of here so I can get rid of these lumberjack flags. I gotta remember to use these. And then I can start building a uh, stairway to heaven, as it were. Build a triple platform, build a double platform, build a single platform. Then stairs. And then we'll go up here. So I think this might end up being on the very border of too far away. That'll be a fun thing to watch the uh, construction of. Anyway, drought's over. Now we should be in very good shape. Or unemployed beavers. Is this still not empty? How in the world is this still not empty? Wow, that's taken 800 years. Guess it doesn't matter anymore to have these organized. I didn't think it was going to be a big deal. Alright. I was hoping these would be closer to done here. We just didn't have enough uh, enough logs coming in, huh? I guess I can take one of these away and add more log routes. I'm going to need them. Let's do that. Alright, well, this is the end of cycle 8, the very beginning of cycle 9. So I think this is going to be a good spot to call for the end of the stream. So if you've been here, well, well, I guess really most of you have been here most of the time. But thanks for coming out. I appreciate you watching and hopefully you enjoyed. We'll have more Temperborn on Tuesday. Uh, again, Oster stream tomorrow. Late morning, early afternoon, Eastern time. That will be GMT minus four. There will be a reminder on YouTube as well, and I'll try to have that stream scheduled thing up tonight before I go to bed so you know when to uh, tune in. But yeah, that is going to be it for now, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for hanging out.